Oh man. He connected We me. just had fun, guys. This is about having fun. It's nothing serious, just have fun. I mean, it's been amazing. <laughs> Truth, truthfully, man. God. I probably kicked your ass for sure. Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back. It is a Saturday. It is the 19th of October 2019. Just waking up, quarter to eight in the morning. Just walking out of our room here at uh, Phuket Muay Thai house. We've uh, been here for almost a week. We check out tomorrow. Uh, I think I paid $262 for the week, but it's really amazing place. Definitely check this place out if you're looking at staying here. Uh, I'm really tired. Um, it's been a big, like, long, it's been a big long week of training and filming and you know, meeting people. And it's just been an incredibly crazy, awesome week. I'm really stiff, really tired, um, a little bit of pain. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna, Robs and I, we're just gonna go to Cocoville uh, Resort, which is a two second walk, literally across the road from here, for a coffee. And then we're gonna probably try and make the stretching class at uh, Five Elements Yoga. Um, we'll bring you along. Good morning. Uh, no, not me. And we'll try and make the stretching class at uh, Five Elements Yoga, and then uh, Robin has a 1 p.m. private class at Dragon Muay Thai. We'll give you the highlights of that, and then I have a um, group class Muay Thai at Evolve Health Club here on Fitness Street. So, I'll give you the highlights of that and everything in between. So, stick around. Today is going to be another packed day. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, day off, no training. Um, and maybe no filming. So anyway, come along and uh, enjoy the ride. She's going home today, guys. It's so sad. I'm so sad. End of, that's it, huh? It's the end, but I'm coming back. When? For, if I can do it next year, around the same time. It's okay. Been amazing. You better come back. I'm definitely gonna come back. You got this um, video evidence. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Hold me to it. His mum's his mum's coming. His mum's coming. She she is. I reckon she'll be uh, very keen. So. You better come out here too. Yeah. Good old sir. Sir will make the trouble. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to have you. Nice lovely to meet to you. Lovely to meet you guys. Come Everyone here. Big group hug. Come in here. Oh, come sorry, in here. I'm so sweaty. Come in here. I'm sweaty, man. <laughs> All right guys, 9.30 in the morning. It is a Saturday, day six of our adventures here. We're about to do a stretching class at Five Elements Hot Yoga Resort here on Fitness Street. There's the sign at the front there. Uh, I think it's a pretty good idea actually given that the whole week we've been training and you know, I feel really stiff and really tight in my body. And I think this is just a great way to finish the week. Just doing a stretching class right here. I don't know how much it costs, like 350 baht or something per person. Check out their website. But anyway, we're gonna do the class. Where's Rob's? There you are. She's naturally, she's naturally flexible, this one. All right, guys, I think it's what, 11 o'clock in the morning? 11.30 in the morning. It is a Saturday. We're on Fitness Street, Soi Taid, Harry from Brisbane. We're here at the Five Elements Yoga and uh, we just finished a stretching and meditation class just now. Mate, how good was it? It was awesome, it was challenging as you can see, I'm sweating my ass <laughs> off, but <laughs> no, it was awesome, I feel awesome after it. So. You were pretty good, man. My flexibility is really terrible. Yeah, that's really, something really I'm bad. trying to work on. Yeah. So no matter what level of flexibility you are, 
come here. It's really, really, I mean, for me, training Muay Thai and like every day during the week, this is just the perfect way to finish off yeah. a training week. Agreed. And uh, that's my girlfriend in there, Robin. Yeah. So she's like advanced, different yeah. level. Yeah, it's always tough seeing some people being out of some movements that have no chance to so. so if we can do it, or if I can do it, you can do it too. Sure. So um, how long are you here for, mate? Uh, in Thailand for two weeks, but I'll be on Soy Thai for two weeks, just training and yeah, focusing on getting better. Getting, getting fitter, getting stronger. That's it. And first time here? Uh, I've been to Thailand when I was 20, so I'm 28 now, so yep. second time. You're fresh, man. I'm 34. <laughs> you're, you're fresh. Yeah. And But first time on this street, yeah? Yeah, first time. Last thing, top tip for anyone wanting to come out here and train, never been out here before, what do you suggest? Um, Never been here before. They're freaked guess, out. Is it dangerous? Uh, definitely not dangerous. Everyone's friendly. I find people it ask. People ask. Like, is it safe? Yeah, definitely it... safe. Yeah, for both females and males. Like, I've come alone this time, so yeah. And you're staying in here. Yeah, yep, just room number seven here. Yeah. So we did a little walking tour of this place yesterday. See another video, but uh, this little resort has a package with a ice bath, a yoga room, accommodation, a pool, a change room, that I miss yep. anything else, cooking yep. classes. Yeah. So if you're looking for a yoga specific retreat package here on Fitness Street, check out this place. Not paid or endorsed to say that. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt. All right, man. Thanks awesome. very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks Great a lot, man. Bro. Yeah, you too, man. Hi, guys. Yeah, it, it was incredible. You know, it's with all this Muay Thai we're doing and all this CrossFit training, yeah, it just reminded me of um, the fact that you have to find balance in your training. And this morning I was feeling like I really need sort of to rest and find that balance. So I'm really glad I did this class. And she's awesome. The woman in there is awesome. She's so tactile. She'll come and look for your specific issues you have in yeah, your body. And she'll like she's... massage you out. Uh -huh. And she's also, she, at the end, she we're lying there and she just gives you a reminder that, you know, your body is your kingdom and you have to look after it. And yeah, amongst all this hardcore training, you've got to find the balance to center and stretch and get, look after your spine. Um, look after your hips. My hips are buggered, apparently still. Reminder. <coughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just, it's really important to find that balance. And for the ladies here, I know you probably want to have days off where you're like shopping or having your nails done and, or having your lashes, whatever. So this, this yoga place, they have a place right, right on the premises where you can go and chill and have your nails done. Elegant your eyelash. Session, session. Yeah. So it's pretty cool like that. There you go. And the, obviously you've got your um, Ali's barbecue, you've got JK, Bistro, which is JK, yeah, that we had last night. Yeah, so it's got everything you, you need in one place. Thanks, Robs, you're a legend. Come, 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 come. All right, we're on Fitness Street. We're going into the shack for a smoothie. Open doors. Hello. Cheers to us. We have our peanut butter lava shakes, which how much protein is in these? All right, so we've got protein shakes here with extra peanut butter here at the shack. And uh, we're here like on Fitness Street, so we Go check this place out, it's really cool. It was here a couple of years ago. And um, their shakes are around 220 bars each. Yeah. Uh, so about 20 grams of protein. Yeah. 20 grams of protein in these cool little shakes. And uh, I'll show you real quick. Check this out. They got little slices here. I'll show you. So they got like raw tiramisu slice with the calories and the kilojoules marked on there and the amount of protein, carb, and fat there is. So all the macros are marked out. Snickers slice, overnight oats, banana bread, peanut butter cups. They're really nice, by the way. I had them two years ago when I was here. And these protein balls, they do wheatgrass shots here as well. Their menus are just there. Uh, I really love this little tiny shack. They call it a shack, the shack. And uh, yeah, come and check it out if you're on Fitness Street. Have a protein shake and then walk down to your next class. And that's exactly what we're doing. It's 12 o'clock right now. 
we're gonna smash these and then we're gonna um, do we're gonna Robin has a class at one o'clock this afternoon at Dragon Muay Thai, a private one-on-one -on -one session. Stick around, I'll give the highlights of that class. How's your shake, mate? Is it good? class here at Dragon. Um, I don't know if you guys know but I'm a Pilates instructor and so I am not, I'm not a fighter. I don't know a lot about this but the reason why I do it is just because I love fitness and it's, an, it's another alternative to practice, to get fit, to get in shape other than your Pilates and your yoga. And I, I tend to find that you know when you are practicing Pilates and then you take part in these sort of exercises kind of feel stronger for it. So I'm really excited to, to train with Chan. I, I trained with him last year. Um, I'm sure Brad will link up that video to show you guys. He's the most awesome trainer. He makes you feel really comfortable. It can feel a little intimidating at first when you, you're getting into this whole Muay Thai thing, especially if you have like sort of punches being thrown at your nose. So yeah, he's just a great trainer if you're starting out, so I'd really recommend him. So guys, come join me now as I take part in my class. Let's do this. Let's do this. Guys, just jumping in here. It's 1:30 uh, in the afternoon. Rob's is halfway through her private session. Roosters in the background. Um, she's doing so well. Uh, she's going through the fundamentals of Muay Thai with Kru Chan. Um, some combinations that I've not seen before, and she's learning them for the first time. So she's having a lot of fun. And what I love about Kru Chan is that he's so playful and um, he's very light-hearted and he's very approachable. And so. Um, you know, just makes it, the learning experience a whole lot easier and less intimidating. Um, she's doing so well. Uh, as you know, she's a Pilates instructor and um, it's really cool today. Like there's a nice breeze passing through here. Uh, so yeah, it's just a nice change for a very, very hot week. So anyway, uh, I'll take you back to her private class. How do you feel, Robs? You're learning something new? Having fun? Very, very technical class. Yeah? Mm. Mm. You're a fast learner. Yeah, look it's at you so go. It's so hard. So hard. <laughs> it's so hard because... She's... Can I tell you why? Go on. Because <laughs> when your brain doesn't focus yeah. and you're not present to what you're doing, you don't think. You've everything, got like everything else gone. going on in the yeah. brain. You have to be so present to pick it up because there's like like a sequence that you follow and I, I struggle with that because I'm like yeah it's like the mind thing more than so anything. your mind is wandering today yeah big time just shows well, you you gotta focus show you, show you how present you are you gotta focus mate yeah I do yeah. you gotta focus I do me hand hand swing your arm swing your arm so yeah. more killing it and swing to the side don't boom big here that's yeah. why I make you Lose drop balance. yourself. Yes. Right. Boom, more to the side. Back. And balance. Two. And go. That's it, guys. The end. How do you feel, Robs? Oh, so good. Yeah? What an amazing touch. Did you learn anything? 
An amazing trainer, guys. You gotta come to him, he's so good. Really helps you to understand the technical aspects of it. A lot of the time, because of the adrenaline, you just wanna punch like crazy. Mm -hmm. But actually, he slows everything down. Everything down, and then you can like, learn, learn the basics and realize how unpresent you actually are. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be in the moment. You gotta be so here. Yeah. It's really hard as well to get focused. Mm. That's super cool. All right, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, day six, Saturday. Just uh, finished a private Muay Thai session. Rob's is all done. We're now leaving Dragon Muay Thai here on Fitness Street. That's it right there. And uh, got to go back to our room now. And I'm going to pick up my gloves and my wraps because I have a group class down the other side of the street at Evolve, Evolve Health Club. So give you some highlights of that class. Can't wait, guys. Can't wait to bring you along. When you get a chance, check out Cocoville and Titan Fitness. All right, off we go. Look at her. She's so ripped. No, no. So ripped. This is our little place that we're staying at, Phuket Muay Thai house. With our little swimming pool. Funnily enough, there's actually hardly anyone staying here. There's like only, I've only seen like half a dozen people here. This is our little room. Room six. Need no help, that's saw me. Could have went to jail the army. Remember when they didn't want to call me. Now I can't keep up tell me. Need no help, that's saw me. Could have went to jail the army. Remember when they didn't want to call me. Good day guys, 4 p.m. day six, Saturday, Fitness Street. Ah, about to start a group Muay Thai class here at Evolve Health Club here on Fitness Street. Um, 350 baht drop-in session. I think it's beginner level. I'm not sure. Maybe it's mixed. Uh, but yeah, back on Fitness Street. This is the new Evolve Health Club here. That's what it looks like. And that's Fitness Street just there. Phuket top team is that blue roof there and Latte Cafe is just there. Go and check those guys out, they're really amazing. There's a little fight store just here. And uh, and this is the area where we're doing the Muay Thai class. So Robin's gonna be shooting highlights of this class. I'm pretty tired to be honest with you. It is Saturday, we've been training every day, the whole week. Anyway, but I wanted to shoot this video because I wanted to show people that are looking at training on the street, what it's like to train here at Evolve doing a drop-in Muay Thai session. Anyway, enough of me talking. It's almost four o'clock. Class starts in five minutes. Now I can't keep up to me. Need no help to solve me. Could have went to jail or the army. Remember when they didn't want to call me. Should have seen a look when they saw me. They ain't happy, they just shot. Kill Nipsey, they touch pot. Uh, this guy can do the splits real quick. Do the splits real quick. Go down, go down, go down. Go down. <laughs> Watch one. this. Long time I see this. Oh. You can see that wow. thing. Ashkan from Iran teaches Muay Thai here at Evolve. And uh, I've never seen another man do the splits like this man here. Except Van Damme. Except Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the Van Dam of our fitness street. Yeah. Between, yes. Do you do it between two chairs? Sorry? Do you do two chairs? How the, how the, two uh, chairs. Two oh. chairs, yeah. I used to, I before. Really? What about two motorbikes? Sorry? What about two <laughs> motorbikes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of the dam on the on yeah. the <laughs> Oh man, we just had fun guys, this is about having fun, nothing serious, just have fun, just fun, that's all it is, that's all it is. Oh. Oh. Look at this! 
Six o'clock Saturday evening. We've done six days of training. We're finished, guys. This is the uh, end of our first week of Fitness Street. Just finished our class here at Evolve Health Club, and uh, it was an amazing session, guys. Farlon is just in it this guy here. It's super. Right there. Oh, there, he, he is. there he is. There it's he is. so chilled here. <laughs> yeah. It's like a really chilled vibe. Yeah, it's really cool. It's yeah. really, really awesome. So we paid 350 baht, drop in sessions. Just off the street, walked in, and here we are. Two hours later, we're on the floor, sweating like crazy. It was a really fun class. Really enjoyed it. Did some clinching before, which I'm not not good at that at all. Man, that I don't I don't, don't know what I'm. Them. I don't really know what I'm doing. But you don't have to do the clinching. You don't have to do anything you don't feel comfortable doing. You just do bag work, work one on one with the instructors here. You don't have to spar if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything only, you don't want to do. The only reason why I'm saying don't this is because pressure. with the clenching, it's really it's like personal. It's completely in your personal space. Very close. And I don't. I think when I do the BJJ and I get used to actually being so close and body contact, then I could probably try the clenching. Yeah. But it's, it's like sweaty and you close. It's and pretty full on. It's not for everybody. So I don't really but like it. They went like you have to do it. You don't have to like, do it. You just yeah. But no. it looked intense when yeah. you did it. Yeah, they've like got they're, some strong guys. They're experienced, yeah, they're, they're experienced guys. Yeah. Like yeah. Alex's been here for a year. Yeah, he's so been here for a year, yeah. The French guy, yeah. Very yeah, strong. Very strong. The agenda is we check out tomorrow. We're moving over to Tiger Muay Thai Beachside, which is a little bit out near the street but further away. We're there for a week. We're going to shoot some content there and show you what the beachside is like at Tiger Muay Thai. So stick around for next week's set of videos fitness street so yeah can't wait to bring you guys along and if you have any questions let me or robin know and try and help you out so yeah that's it man see you later see you tomorrow guys yeah maybe i don't know if you're gonna film anything tomorrow okay. maybe like a quick talk oh wow okay see you next week guys Bye. goodbye they didn't want to call me should have seen a look when they saw me need no help that saw me could have went to jail the army yes remember when they didn't want to call me now I can't keep it that all me. Need no help to solve me. Could've went to jail of the army. Remember when they didn't wanna call me? Should've seen a look when they saw me.